Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Alva here, and today's video is going to be about palm tattoos. Because I got a palm tattoo yesterday, and I thought it could be kind of fun to make a little video about it. But this is going up pretty late, because I got it made on the 23rd of August. But it's going to be up in September on my channel, which is where you're watching it now. Because I honestly wanted to do like kind of, I wanted to tell the experience when I got the tattoo and then show it when it has healed. So to start off with when I got it all that kind of stuff. So the tattoo itself was pretty easy to get. Um, I'm gonna move closer to the camera just to point out some things because I gotta see it closer. So you can see like the outline here, that's pretty simple and that didn't really hurt at all um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would probably say maybe 3, so that was kind of pain less. The only thing that really hurt about the tattoo is the middle, when he was filling in all the black ink. That is kind of painful, but at the same time it's not that bad, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't really say it's something I wouldn't be able to do again, if necessary, I mean... It's... Overall, I would probably rate the tattoo pain rating 5 out of 10, maybe. I have tried worse, like my chest, for example, or my this area, my legs. Um, like my arms are probably the only thing that's less painless than this. So yeah, pretty easy to to get if you really want something like this, like not the design itself, but a font or two. Then I would just say go ahead. It's, it's really not that bad. So. I'm just gonna end the recording here and the next part, which you're gonna see in this video, is gonna be me one month ahead talking about the healing process and showing you when it has healed. So this is day number 16 and the tattoo has slowly started to peel off the last couple of days. You can see the entire part up here has faded away. And the camera isn't really showing this in the highest quality. But you can see a lot of stuff is starting to like just peel off and fade. So that sucks, but we still have around 15 days to go. Okay, so now it's exactly one month since I got my palm tattoo. And this is what it looks like. The 23rd of September. Am I disappointed with the result? Yes, I saw it around, but at the same time, I knew it wasn't going to heal that well because it's on the palm. It's a very unique spot, I guess you could call it. Um, overall, I took pretty good care of it, if I should say it myself. I have avoided a lot of activities involving using my hands, or at least this hand. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is a little bit... It's annoying. But overall, I would say like the healing process was kind of annoying because it limits you a lot when you can only use one hand. Um, especially for me because I'm a gamer, I play a lot of Overwatch, uh, Slaughter, uh, Hearthstone. Um, yeah, I think that's about it right now. I don't really play a lot of games actually. I just play Overwatch, Hearthstone, and Slaughter. That's about it. Uh, but that's only because I don't really find any other games interesting at the moment. But that's not the point of this video, so... I have a friend of mine who said she was going to give it a touch up for me, free. Uh, because she's a kind of close friend of me, so that's real nice of her. Um, I don't know if it's gonna turn out great, or at least she can add a little more to the tattoo. She said that from what I told her, the tattoo artist used a wrong technique. Um, I think it was called whip shading or something. Um, she tattoos like herself and customers and stuff, so she probably knows more about the tattooing itself than me. Um, I don't really know a lot about the techniques, but if it's the wrong technique and she thinks she can do it better, then let her for God's sake. Would I recommend other people to get a palm tattoo? Yes, I would, but you probably have to get a few assessments and. Even when it has healed, I think it's still gonna fade with time, like... Yes, of course, every tattoo is gonna fade with time. But your palm, I think that's gonna fade rather quickly compared to most tattoos, because you constantly use your hands. 
Um, one thing I should mention as well is I have gotten my throat tattooed, this part, my fucking face. I have gotten a little more put into my arm now. And to be quite honest, um, after a week or two, I don't really notice that I've gotten tattooed, like it doesn't really fuck up my daily routine. But the palm really does because it takes it four weeks before it has healed enough where it actually like stops peeling off, stops fading, stops, stops, I keep saying stops and not stops, then <laughs> it's shit, okay? It's not healing well. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, you can go ahead, get a palm tattoo if you want to, but you have to keep in mind, it's going to fade. Mine, I don't think, faded way too much compared to what I've seen. I've seen some people actually just losing the entire tattoo. With me, you can at least see what it's supposed to be. Like, you can still see the symbol and everything. Uh, it has a few spots that ended up being really black, like here and here. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, yeah, so stay chill, everybody, and... Bye! <laughs>